on where you are, your morning commute could be wet. Exactly. Uh, we had some overnight storms, so northern half of the Miami Valley has wet roads. Now, the southern half is seeing some rain, and we have fog in between. So we've got a little bit of everything going on this morning for you. The good news is nothing should be too major to really cause any uh, big impacts, but we'll be getting you updates from Sergeant Mark as we go through the morning. Uh, just watching out for some spotty fog, mainly across the far eastern half of the Miami Valley, and then some of the wet roads here starting to push back in. Now, as we go through the day today, we will have the chance for a few downpours or a thunderstorm, but the activity today will be widely scattered, so not everyone is going to have to deal with the shower storm threat. We don't really have a big severe weather threat, so it's really just downpours and lightning that could be accompanied by that. And the timing of it, we're seeing some rain this morning, but it'll be late afternoon for the chance for thunder and lightning as well. A live look outside, this is in Beaver Creek now. You can see a little bit of reduced visibility there, but overall uh, the fog has not been a big problem for us. Just uh, starting to see it drop off in a few locations. Winds are out of the southwest at 7 miles per hour. The bigger picture does show some of the shower activity will continue to lift northeast, so it's mainly impacting us uh, south of I-70. And then we've got a little bit of light rain as well that is across north central Indiana. This could also sneak in across the northern half. So we've got two different things going on this morning. A live look at our live Doppler 7 radar. Auglaize County starting to dry back out this morning. Looking further to the south, though, uh, we do have that rain starting to push into southern Montgomery. Rain shower activity across pretty much all of Warren, and it is starting to clip into Greene County as well. Futurecast does a good job picking up on this batch as it will continue to lift northeast through the next hour or two. So getting a little closer to 7, we'll kind of start to dry back out. See a little bit of sunshine at times. You can see mixing in with these broken clouds. We also have the threat for some downpours through the afternoon hours. So not everyone has to deal with it, but if you are making outdoor plans again, good idea to just keep your eye to the sky. You'll just have to dodge some raindrops briefly. I don't expect the activity to last too long. It's 68 in Urbana, 69 in Eaton, and 73 in Springboro, so we're starting off warm and muggy. We're going to stay that way all day today. Temperatures will be right where they should be in the low to mid 80s. We do have a very mild evening as well. By 8 o'clock, we're still in the upper 70s. Some other cities this afternoon, I expect 83 degrees in Bell Fountain, 85 in Springboro, 83 in Tip City. Tonight, we'll drop to 64. I do expect clouds to decrease, so any of the rain we get today, some of those locations would be the cities that we get some spotty fog as well. So that's what we'll watch out for tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon is the best afternoon because we look dry from start to finish with sunshine and highs in the middle 80s. So it'll feel comfortable. Thursday, probably one of the better days to get outside if your kids are still off school this week. Friday, we start to see showers and storms redevelop. And then Saturday and Sunday, we have an upper level system that just kind of sits over the Miami Valley. So it does help to produce some energy for the afternoon hours. This activity will be the pop-up summer-like storms that we see. Uh, temperatures will be on the cool side as well. We bring you weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Let's check in with Sergeant Mark now. Good morning, Sarge. And good morning again to you, Kirsty. We had a good start to the morning drive. We really haven't come across any accidents or issues with our freeway system. Here's a live shot of Route 35. This is the camera by Gettysburg Avenue. This is near the Dayton VA Center. And as you can see, it's very light volume. Travel times across the area have been good. I'm Sergeant Mark Bowman, WHIO Team Traffic. Sergeant, thank you. It is 521, 71 degrees. The Dayton Dragons will honor military members later this month. The special journey jerseys they'll be wearing. And he and customers could soon see higher electric bills. Why some consumer groups hope a recent court ruling is overturned.